Lyle Talbot was a prominent figure in the golden age of Hollywood, known for his versatile acting skills and numerous appearances in films and television shows. Born in 1902, Talbot began his career in the early 1920s and quickly became a household name. Throughout his career, Talbot appeared in over 300 films and television shows, working with some of the biggest names in the industry. He starred in classics such as Search for Beauty and I'll Tell the World, and later became a familiar face on television with recurring roles in shows like The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet and Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Talbot's contributions to the entertainment industry were not limited to his acting roles. He was also a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild, which has played a crucial role in protecting the rights and interests of actors for over eight decades. Despite facing many challenges throughout his career, including the transition from silent films to talkies and the rise of new stars, Talbot remained a respected and beloved figure in Hollywood. His legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers today. Lyle Talbot was a well-known actor who had a long and successful career in Hollywood. He appeared in many films and TV shows, including Search for Beauty and The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show. You might have a favorite performance of his that stands out. Perhaps you remember when Talbot played the role of the strict father in the classic film The Postman Always Rings Twice. Or maybe you enjoyed his work in the early days of TV on The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. We'd love to hear about your favorite Lyle Talbot moment or any personal experiences you have related to this classic star. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. There are many interesting and surprising facts about Lyle Talbot that you might not know. Keep watching this video to learn more about this legendary actor and his remarkable career. Lyle Talbot, born in Lissell, Hollywood in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in Whitty, 1898, had a modest upbringing. His father was a traveling salesman and his mother passed away when he was just a child. Talbot's family moved around a lot during his childhood and he spent some time living with his grandparents in Nebraska. Talbot's first exposure to acting came when he was in high school, where he participated in the drama club. After graduating, he joined a traveling theater troupe and toured the country for several years. It was during this time that he adopted the stage name Lyle Talbot. One of Talbot's earliest and most significant influences was his mentor, the legendary director Cecil B. DeMille. Talbot met DeMille while working as an extra on the set of one of his films. Impressed by Talbot's talent and dedication, DeMille took him under his wing and gave him his first speaking role in a major motion picture. Another key influence on Talbot's career was his friendship with actor James Cagney. The two actors met while working together on the 1931 film Smart Money and quickly became close friends. Cagney encouraged Talbot to pursue roles in talking pictures, which were just beginning to become popular at the time. Talbot's career spanned over six decades and he appeared in over 200 films and television shows. He was a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild and was a strong advocate for actors' rights throughout his career. Despite facing many challenges and setbacks, Talbot remained dedicated to his craft and left behind a legacy as a talented and versatile actor. Lyle Talbot was a prolific actor, appearing in over 200 films and television shows. He started his career in the 1930s, working in Hollywood's golden age. Talbot's filmography includes a range of genres such as drama, comedy, film noir, and horror. One of his most well-known films is Search for Beauty, where he played a lead role alongside Buster Crabb and Ida Lupino. In this film, Talbot portrayed a con man who schemes to take over a health resort. Talbot also appeared in several classic films noir, such as The Amazing Dr. Clitterhouse with Edward G. Robinson and Stranger on the Third Floor with Peter Laura. In Stranger on the Third Floor, Talbot played a crucial role as a key witness in a murder trial. In the 1940s, Talbot became a staple of B-movies, appearing in many low-budget films. One of his most memorable roles was in The Wolfman with Lon Chaney Jr., where he played a supporting role as a suspicious police captain. For those new to Talbot's work, The Public Enemy is a great place to start. Although Talbot had a small role as a newspaper reporter, the film is a classic gangster movie with James Cagney and Gene Harlow. Another must-watch film is Hollywood Hotel, a musical comedy with Dick Powell and Rosemary Lane. Talbot played a supporting role as a movie director, showcasing his comedic timing. In conclusion, Lyle Talbot's filmography is a testament to his long and varied career in Hollywood. 
From classic films noir to B-movies, Talbot's work has left a lasting impact on the film industry. Lyle Talbot's passion for acting began at a young age. As a child, he would put on plays for his family using puppets and whatever household items he could find. His mother, noticing his talent and enthusiasm, enrolled him in a local theater group. It was there that Lyle discovered his love for the stage and the thrill of bringing a character to life. One pivotal experience that fueled Lyle's desire to pursue acting as a career was seeing a professional stage production for the first time. He was captivated by the actor's ability to transport the audience to another world and make them feel a range of emotions. From that moment on, Lyle knew he wanted to be a part of that magical experience. After finishing high school, Lyle decided to move to New York City to pursue his acting dreams. He struggled at first, working odd jobs to make ends meet, but he never gave up on his passion. He eventually landed his first professional acting gig in a Broadway production, which solidified his decision to become a full-time actor. Throughout his long and successful career, Lyle appeared in over 300 films and television shows, demonstrating his versatility and talent. Despite facing many challenges along the way, he always remained dedicated to his craft and inspired others with his creativity and dedication. Lyle Talbot, born in 92, was not only the father of journalist David Talbot, the founding editor of Salon.com, but also a significant figure in the film industry. He became the last surviving founding member of the Screen Actors Guild and was the first Warner Brothers contract player to join SAG. Talbot's acting career spanned various genres, including his role as General Roberts in the cult classic Plan 9 from Outer Space. Interestingly, both he and fellow actor John Breckenridge, who played the alien high commander, were each old enough to be the director Edward D. Wood Jr.'s father. Despite this age difference, Wood died in 1978 at 54, while Talbot and Breckenridge lived into their 90s, passing away in 1996. Talbot's impact on the film industry extends beyond his role in Plan 9 from Outer Space. His contributions to the formation of the Screen Actors Guild and his early involvement with Warner Brothers make him a notable figure in Hollywood history. Lyle Talbot, a talented actor, faced many challenges in his early career. Born in 92, he struggled financially during his youth. However, his passion for acting drove him to pursue a career in the industry, despite the skepticism he faced. In the 1920s, Talbot moved to New York to study acting, but the city's high cost of living made it difficult for him to make ends meet. He worked odd jobs, such as selling shoes and driving a taxi, to support himself while pursuing his dream. Talbot's big break came in 1927 when he was discovered by a talent scout and offered a contract with Warner Brothers Studios. However, his success was not immediate. The studio executives were unsure about Talbot's abilities and cast him in small, insignificant roles. Determined to prove himself, Talbot took on any role he was offered and worked tirelessly to perfect his craft. He studied other actors, experimented with different techniques, and sought feedback from his directors. Talbot's hard work paid off, and he gradually began to receive better roles. He appeared in over 100 films throughout his career, including classics such as Public Enemy and Key Largo. Talbot's story is a testament to his resilience and determination. Despite facing financial struggles and industry skepticism, he never gave up on his dream. He found creative solutions to overcome these hurdles and built a successful career as an actor. Lyle Talbot was a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild, which angered many studio heads but did not result in a loss of work for him. This shows his commitment to actors' rights and his determination to continue his career despite the backlash. In the 1960s, Talbot appeared as Governor Carstairs in the television show Green Acres. Although the state Hooterville is in is never named, its governor is an actor named Lyle Talbot, who plays the role convincingly. Between 1932-34, Talbot appeared in 28 films. Mostly for Warner Brothers, this period was particularly productive for him, and he established himself as a reliable and talented actor during this time. Talbot's career spanned over five decades, and he appeared in over 200 film and television shows. He worked with some of the biggest stars and directors of his time and left a lasting impact on the film industry. Lyle Talbot, a prominent actor in Hollywood's golden age, experienced several breakthrough moments throughout his career. In the early 1930s, he signed with Warner Brothers 
and became a leading man in over 30 films, including State's Attorney and Employee's Entrance. This period marked his transition from stage acting to film, where he quickly gained recognition for his versatile performances. Later, in the 1950s, Talbot reinvented himself as a character actor and appeared in numerous classic films, such as The Hitchhiker and The Greatest Show on Earth. His ability to portray various roles with depth and authenticity earned him critical acclaim and solidified his status as a respected actor. Talbot also played a significant role in the early years of television. He starred in the popular series The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet and became one of the first television stars. His work in television demonstrated his adaptability and contributed to the medium's growing popularity. According to his peers and critics, Lyle Talbot's career breakthroughs were marked by his versatility, commitment to his craft, and willingness to evolve with the changing entertainment industry. His ability to leave a lasting impact on both film and television has earned him a place in Hollywood history as a talented and influential actor. In the 1950s, Lyle Talbot was a busy actor appearing in movie serials and live television. During this period, he resided at the Highland Towers Apartments in Hollywood, which is now a registered landmark. From 1955 to 1989, he and his family lived at 3942 Goodland Ave in Studio City, where he served as the town's honorary mayor in the 1960s. Talbot played the role of Jeffrey Warning in the film 42nd Street. In 1933, Warner Brothers chartered a train to promote the film making 100 stops along the way to screen the movie and hold meet and greets with fans. Among the stars who participated in this promotional tour were Preston Foster, Claire Dodd, Bette Davis, Leo Carrillo, Eleanor Hone, and Lyle Talbot, who also narrated the official trailer. Lyle Talbot holds the distinction of being the first actor to portray Commissioner Gordon in the Batman series and the first actor to play Lex Luthor in the Superman series. Lyle Talbot, an accomplished actor, had a unique approach to his work. He was known for his meticulous preparation and attention to detail. Talbot would immerse himself in the script, studying every line and action to ensure he fully understood his character and their motivations. This level of dedication allowed him to bring depth and authenticity to his performances, making them truly memorable. Talbot's personal experiences and worldview often found their way into his work. Growing up in a large family during the Great Depression, he developed a strong sense of resilience and determination. These qualities were reflected in the characters he played, who were often complex and multidimensional. One of Talbot's most notable roles was in the classic film The Public Enemy, where he played a gangster with a tragic past. Talbot's ability to convey the character's inner turmoil and conflict was a testament to his skill as an actor. He was also known for his work in early television where he continued to demonstrate his versatility and range. Despite facing many challenges throughout his career, Talbot remained committed to his craft. He was a true professional who approached each role with dedication and passion. His unique style and approach to acting have left a lasting impact on the industry and continue to inspire aspiring actors today. Lyle Talbot was not only an actor, but also the father of a successful public television producer, Stephen Talbot, Stephen, known for playing Beaver's friend Gilbert on Leave it to Beaver, followed in his father's footsteps and went on to have a significant career as a writer-producer-director of documentaries for PBS. In 1933, Lyle Talbot had a role in the movie 42nd Street. As part of a publicity stunt for the film, a train called the 42nd Street Special traveled from Hollywood to New York City, arriving in time for the movie's opening at the Strand Theater. On the train were Warner Brothers contract players, including Lyle Talbot, who were called to the stage after the movie was shown. Lyle Talbot's acting career spanned several decades and included roles in various films and television shows. One of his notable roles was playing Ozzie Nelson's best friend, Joe Randolph, on The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. At the same time, his son, Stephen Talbot, played Beaver's sidekick Gilbert on Leave it to Beaver. Lyle Talbot was a prominent actor who made significant contributions to the film and television industry. He started his career in the 1930s and appeared in over 200 films, including notable works like Search for Beauty and I'll Tell the World. Talbot's impact on the industry was substantial. He was one of the first contract players for Warner Brothers, appearing in a variety of roles that showcased his versatility. His ability to play different characters with conviction 
and authenticity helped to establish him as a reliable and skilled actor. Industry experts and those he inspired have commented on Talbot's contributions. For instance, film historian Alan Kay Road notes that Talbot was a dependable and versatile actor who brought a sense of professionalism and dedication to every role he played. Talbot's influence can also be seen in the trends and techniques that emerged during his career. He was part of the early wave of actors who transitioned from silent films to talkies, helping to shape the industry as it evolved. Additionally, his ability to play both leading and supporting roles with equal skill and commitment helped to establish new storytelling possibilities. Talbot's impact can also be seen in the work of later actors who were inspired by him. For example, actor and director Timothy Busfield cites Talbot as an inspiration, noting that Lyle Talbot's ability to bring depth and nuance to every role he played was truly remarkable. He was a master of his craft, and his influence can still be felt today. In conclusion, Lyle Talbot was a significant contributor to the film and television industry, known for his versatility, professionalism, and skill. His influence can be seen in the trends and techniques that emerged during his career, as well as in the work of later actors who were inspired by him. In 1980, on Sesame Street, Bert and Ernie's goldfish companions were named Bernice, Lyle, Talbot, and Melissa, with Talbot being the name of the famed actor's wife. This highlights the actor's popularity during that time. In 1933, Lyle Talbot participated in an extravagant publicity campaign for the Busby Berkeley musical, traveling on a special train across the country, along with Bette Davis, Glenda Farrell, and other celebrities. This journey culminated in Washington, D.C., during Franklin D. Roosevelt's first inauguration. During the mid to late 1950s, Lyle Talbot made recurring appearances in two television series, playing the role of a best friend on The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet in The Bob Cummings Show. His presence in these popular shows further solidified his status as a well-known actor. Lyle Talbot, a well-known actor, had a rich personal life that greatly influenced his work. He was a family man who valued his relationships deeply which often translated into his on-screen roles. Talbot was married three times and had four children, one of whom, David, also became an actor. Talbot's values extended beyond his immediate family to his community. He was passionate about giving back and was involved in various philanthropic efforts. For instance, he was a member of the Hollywood Democratic Committee, which aimed to promote democratic values and principles in the film industry. Moreover, Talbot was a lover of animals and was actively involved in animal welfare causes. He worked closely with the American Humane Association, which advocates for the humane treatment of animals to ensure that animals were treated ethically on film sets. Talbot's personal interests also informed his work. He was an avid reader and enjoyed literature, which often came in handy in his roles as he was known for his ability to bring depth and nuance to his characters. Additionally, Talbot had a deep appreciation for music and played the saxophone, which he incorporated into his work, appearing in several musical films. In summary, Lyle Talbot was not just an accomplished actor, but also a devoted family man, a community advocate, and an individual with a rich array of personal interests that informed his work. His values and passions were an integral part of his identity and left an indelible mark on his career and the world around him. Lyle Talbot, an actor with a prolific career, has connections to the DC Comics universe that span generations. Two pairs of actors who succeeded him in DC roles have appeared together in films. Pat Engle and Gene Hackman, who took on the roles of Commissioner Gordon and Lex Luthor respectively, starred in The Quick and The Dead. Gary Oldman and Kevin Spacey, who also played Commissioner Gordon and Lex Luthor, appeared in Henry and June. Talbot's daughter, Margaret Talbot, has written a book about her father titled The Entertainer Movies, Magic, in my father's 20th century. Margaret is a staff writer for The New Yorker magazine, and the book was published in November 2012. Before Lyle Talbot became known as the Nelson's married neighbor, Joe Randolph, in The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, he and Mary Jane Croft, who played his wife Clara, had a previous appearance in the show as another married couple, Harvey and Marion Burnett, in the season four episode, The Gay Blade, Lyle Talbot was a talented actor who left a lasting impact on the film industry. He appeared in over 200 films and was a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild. His career spanned several decades and he worked in various genres, including comedies, dramas, and westerns. 
Talbot's legacy is a testament to the power of perseverance and hard work. He started his career during the silent film era and transitioned seamlessly into talkies. He worked with some of the biggest stars and directors of his time and remained active in the industry until his death in 1996. For aspiring professionals in the field, Talbot's advice would be to stay committed to your craft and never give up. The entertainment industry can be challenging, but with dedication and hard work, you can achieve your goals. It's also essential to be versatile and open to new opportunities. Talbot's ability to adapt to changing times and genres helped him maintain a successful career for many years. In terms of future contributions, Talbot's legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. By studying his work and learning from his experiences, today's professionals can carry on his tradition of excellence and innovation. In conclusion, Lyle Talbot's legacy is a lasting reminder of the power of perseverance, hard work, and versatility in the entertainment industry. His advice to aspiring professionals is to stay committed to your craft, be open to new opportunities, and never give up. By following in his footsteps, today's professionals can make their own mark on the industry and continue to inspire future generations. Lyle Talbot, a seasoned actor, made a guest appearance in the comedy series Green Acres as Governor Carstairs, who was also a retired actor. Throughout the series, he played various characters, including Horace Bennett, a prospective buyer of the Douglas, New York penthouse, and the Hooterville area's state representative. In one of the last episodes, he played the governor of the state, who saved Hooterville from bankruptcy by hosting a film festival of his own movies. Talbot's granddaughter, Caitlin, followed in his footsteps and studied acting in the master's program at the American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco. She starred in the play Orlando. Moreover, Talbot did voiceover work for two PBS documentaries written and produced by his son, Stephen Talbot. He lent his voice to Dashiell Hammett in the Peabody Award-winning biography, The Case of Dashiell Hammett, and narrated the Emmy-nominated World Without Walls. The then current governor of California, Ronald Reagan, was also a retired actor who held festivals of his own films to raise money for the state budget, which is a clear inspiration for Talbot's character in Green Acres. Lyle Talbot, an actor who began his career in the early days of Hollywood, appeared in over 200 films and became a familiar face to movie egoers. His passion for acting led him to pursue roles in various genres, demonstrating his versatility and adaptability. Talbot's career spanned over five decades, during which he worked with some of the most prominent figures in the industry. He started on the stage before transitioning to silent films and later thriving in the talkies era. His innovative spirit and willingness to explore different roles contributed to his enduring impact on the entertainment industry. Throughout his journey, Talbot faced numerous challenges, including the transition from silent films to talkies and the changing tastes of audiences. However, his perseverance and creativity enabled him to adapt and continue to make his mark. Talbot's story is a powerful reminder of the importance of creativity and perseverance. His ability to innovate and adapt to the ever-changing landscape of the entertainment industry serves as an inspiration to aspiring artists and professionals alike. Talbot's enduring impact on the industry is a testament to the power of passion, creativity, and hard work. Lyle Talbot is known for his notable work in the entertainment industry. He holds a unique distinction of being the only actor to have starred in both leading roles in different National Road Company tours of Neil Simon's play, The Odd Couple, playing Felix Unger, and Oscar Madison. Talbot is also a grandfather to Joe Talbot, a filmmaker. His acting career spans various genres, and he has played iconic characters in different productions. In the 1949 Batman and Robin serial film, Lyle Talbot portrayed Commissioner James Gordon, while Johnny Duncan, who was uncredited, played Dick Grayson Edgar Robin the Boy Wonder. Interestingly, both Talbot and Duncan played DC Comics characters, adding to Talbot's diverse portfolio. One of his most memorable roles was in the cult classic film, Plan 9 from Outer Space, where he played General Roberts. His acting career has been marked by his ability to take on various roles and genres, making him a respected figure in the industry. Lyle Talbot, a seasoned character actor, made a notable appearance as Prescott Townsend in the final film Amazon Women on the Moon. Interestingly, a scene featuring Talbot was cut from the finished movie, but it can be found in the DVD special features. Before his role in Amazon Women on the Moon, 
Talbot portrayed Commissioner Gordon in the 1949 Batman serial, Batman and Robin. He later became a regular in the films of Edward D. Wood Jr. director Tim Burton paid tribute to Talbot by casting him as a bartender in his 1989 Batman film and featuring him in the Wood biopic Ed Wood. Talbot's career spanned various genres and his final film role showcased his versatility and enduring appeal in the industry. Lyle Talbot is known for his role as Jim Davis in the 1944 film One Body Too Many, where he starred alongside Bela Lugosi and Jack Haley. This movie was made over a decade after The Wizard of Oz, in which Haley starred as the Tin Man. In contrast, Plan 9 from Outer Space, another film featuring Talbot and Lugosi, is often considered one of the worst movies ever made. Talbot's career spanned various genres, and he even played the first official commissioner James Gordon in the 1949 film Batman and Robin. Although Charles C. Wilson played a character named Captain Arnold in the earlier Batman serial, who was essentially Gordon, Talbot was the first to officially portray the character in a film. Talbot's final movie was Amazon Women on the Moon, where he played Prescott Townsend. Throughout his career, Talbot worked with many notable actors and appeared in a range of films, from classics to cult favorites. Lyle Talbot is known for his role as Jeffrey Waring in 42nd Street. Even though most of his scenes were cut before the film's release, he did, however, narrate the movie's trailer. In the early 1950s, Talbot's career was particularly busy, appearing in 29 films over the course of two years. One interesting detail is that a Santa Fe railroad map of the U.S., which can be seen in the background of a scene with Talbot and Tom Keen in Plan 9 from Outer Space, also appears in the Peter Graves film Killers from Space, released in 1954. Talbot's acting career spanned several decades, and he left a lasting impact on the film industry. Lyle Talbot is best known for his role as Commissioner James Gordon in Batman and Robin. Interestingly, both Talbot and Johnny Duncan, who played Dick Robin Grayson, appeared together in the infamous Plan 9 from Outer Space, often cited as the worst movie ever made. In this 1957 film, Talbot played General Roberts, while Duncan had an uncredited role as a stretcher bearer. In addition to his acting work, Talbot contributed to Warner Brothers' early 1930s coming attractions trailers by doing voiceover work. His voice can be heard on the jewel robbery coming attraction reel. Talbot was working on his memoirs at the time of his death in 1996, at the age of 94, leaving behind a legacy of work in the entertainment industry. Lyle Talbot, a well-known actor in Hollywood's golden age, faced a tragic turn of events when his third wife, Miriam Mimi Talbot, committed suicide in 1942. The couple had been married for only three years, and their relationship was said to be troubled. Miriam's mental health struggles led her to take her own life, leaving Lyle and their young daughter, Kathleen, devastated. This tragic event had a profound impact on Lyle's personal life and career, and it remained a somber footnote in his otherwise successful career in Hollywood. Let's take a moment to discuss the remarkable career of Lyle Talbot, a talented actor who left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. With a career spanning several decades, Talbot appeared in a variety of film genres, from comedies to dramas, and even became a household name on television. His work in the early days of Hollywood helped shape the film industry, and his later roles on TV shows such as The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet and Alfred Hitchcock Presents showcased his versatility as an actor. Talbot's legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers to this day. We would love to hear your thoughts on his work and the lasting impact he had on the entertainment industry. Please share your memories or favorite performances of Lyle Talbot in the comments below. And if you enjoy our content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more articles celebrating the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. Your support helps us continue to create engaging and informative content for all to enjoy.